One of the many settings in Cura, or really any slicing software, is a option called retraction. So within here it says retract the filament when the nozzle is moving over a non-printed area. So this is something that I think can help with a few issues you may run into, whether you have a single extruder printer or especially a dual extruder like I have. So right off the bat, what I want to do is test, does this actually help? Does this do something? So I'm going to enable this and I'm going to just keep the defaults. There are a lot of options when you actually choose to use retraction. Do we want to retract that layer change? Do we want to change the distance? The default is three millimeters. Avoid the printed parts when traveling. Z hop when retracted. So again, I'm going to keep the defaults and then I'm going to create something that ideally might cause problems if we don't have retraction made and then I'm going to actually 3D print both of those with and without retraction, see what happens. So let's go to Tinkercad and make something very simple. All right, so again, I wanna create something that I imagine the 3D printer might need retraction for. So one of the things retraction in theory should help with is I have a dual extruder printer. So in this case, if I print this target looking thing right here, what the printer is going to do is print this orange portion and then print the green portion. But obviously this is concentric they're they're touching right here and so if you don't retract the filament then you might get some residual filament and kind of some cross contamination between the two colors which obviously can ruin the print so that's the first thing i want to test i'm also going to add a third layer in here and again just try to test this i don't know if this will work exactly but that's my idea the other thing that retraction should really help with is stringing and so stringing can happen for a multitude of reasons and a multitude of ways but when you have different pieces of the print that are higher than others and it has to hop back and forth between pieces of the print to accurately fill that in and do the 3d print that potentially could cause issues too so i made this little thing i'm going to now slice this with and without retraction and then three print these see is there any difference uh, and we'll see let's check it out okay we are now in cura and so what i'm going to do is just change the color here i'm going to merge again i am going to slice and print this with retraction so i got retraction enabled i'm going to slice that at 31 minutes right here and actually i'm going to make this a little bit bigger there's so many things to test right the smaller this is probably the more retraction may help i'm going to make it 125 percent so now we're looking at 49 minutes and i'm going to print this and then i'm going to print this without retraction and I'm going to see 49 minutes. So something this size didn't make a difference in the speed. Maybe if you have something huge that you're printing, the retraction may add a minute or two, who knows. But now let's print this, see if there's really any difference and see if retraction is really needed. All right, so we have just gotten our prints off the printing bed, and now I want to analyze retraction versus non-retraction. So right here, we have our print that has enabled retraction. Again, that is retraction with three millimeter retraction distance. Overall, I think the print looks pretty darn good. It's a pretty fresh, pretty clean, if you look, and it may be difficult, uh, right here, there's a little bit of stringing right there. I mean, barely. You could easily rip that off, no issue. No stringing in between here. Now, if we look at the red and the white, so right here, there's a little bit of red, and right there, there's a little red mark as well. But it, it didn't ruin the print. I think it certainly is good enough to use if I want to utilize this in the house, give it as a gift, whatever it may be. Overall, everything else, print looks very good. So now let's hop over to the print that I did with no retraction. Well, right off the bat, 
you can see we have a lot of stringing right here. So this is the piece that prints to enable bed adhesion. It just goes on the left side of my printing bed and then the nozzle moves over and starts printing the actual item. So every time it did that, when it went between white and red filament, we see, I think, a string, or it was very close to that. So not a huge deal again. You could probably just rip these off. You could still use it. But we're proving here that does retraction help with stringing and dull printing? I would say this is a very strong case that, yes, that helped tremendously, that aspect. So now let's take a look at this piece uh, a little closer. Right here, we see a nice white blob. Again, you can't really see it because it's white on white, but the nozzle came in and it was stringing, it was stringing, and there was obviously a little piece of filament that was melted. It came in contact with this white boundary, and boom, we have a blob of white filament that, again, doesn't look too ugly, but if you look up close, that's obviously a problem. Here, it actually looks pretty good. On the outside, we see a little bulging of the red filament right there, not too bad. The rest of it looks very good, actually. If we look on the ends, we have some big and thick filament pieces right here and right here that, again, you just knock these little guys off, right? No, no huge deal, but again, proving that our one with retraction did not have this at all. And this is just one print, right? If you have a different print that is more susceptible to stringing, then you may get a lot of these and it could be a major problem. This is just one example. Another thing I really want to show too, last thing, is as it was printing, I wish I would have taken a picture, but you could see that it created the layer of white and then when it moved to go do the center in white, we see this white band among the red. So we don't see it on the top here because the red was the last layer that was put down. So it covered that white line. But if you weren't using red, let's say you were using something more transparent. Let's say you were using or the white part was a little bit higher than the red part, you would see this line, and I would argue this would single-handedly ruin the entire print. You can't have that. You would have to paint over it. You would have to re redo it, change your settings. So anyhow, that is an overview of how retraction can really help. I do think it makes a difference. When I do dual prints, or I print something where I think maybe stringing will be susceptible, I always enable retraction. Both of these prints were 49 minutes, so it doesn't cost you time. And if you're printing something huge, okay, you might lose a couple minutes, big deal. So that is why I would use retraction within the Cura settings. If you have any questions, comment below. Thanks for watching.